over there. Cook something out of that. If you can make anything out of these ingredients. Okay, that's enough. All of that ingredients. Oh. Where you got in mind? Well, that's what I'm saying. You gotta come up with it. You got some pretty good ingredients, but. <laughs> but what? And it's corningware. It's the good stuff. Do you have about six eggs? Yep. Here. And bread. Chopsticks. <laughs> huh? Stacy, do we have chopsticks? No. Man, I don't know what, how we're going to do it without. I think so. <laughs> no, no. Yeah, I think we did. Remember? Right. From over there at the Chinese place? I had a whole, po a whole pack of them. Throw them out? He did. I never throw anything away. Yeah, but we was purging our stuff when we did. Okay, we'll whisk them up. No. Okay, I'm up with it.
I probably ought to make the I probably ought to make a big one. Cause I think that bowl's bigger than I'm just gonna use them all. Put that on your list. Okay. So so good so far. Do you keep this? No. Okay. Oh, do you have sugar? Yeah. Brown? Yeah. Try over there. It, it, you can really tell the difference in it. No, brown sugar or cane. Well, you don't have the white kind? Cane, you talking about cane sugar? White sugar, yeah. Yeah, I got white sugar. In a bag? Yep. How many handfuls do you need? Uh, sugar? Yep. Uh, About a cup. I'm sure a cup at least. No, right, right here, right here is a secret on not your bread pudding not sticking to the dish is this butter. No cream. Yeah. In your milk, in your coffee. Yeah. I mean, you don't have to be Rachel Ray to make a good bread pudding. What, what, what is something that's smoking over there? Yep. What is it? This is my family grease. And just whatever butter you have left, just leave it. Just leave it right in there in the bottom of that pan because it looks to be better.
So you can let this, you can put this all together and let this sit in the refrigerator till, you know, some hours until, uh, yeah, I believe that's about enough. I don't know if I can get another one in there. Um, probably could put a little extra milk in there. Let's just put one more. You want to get all the bread you can get in there, but you have to have enough of liquid to uh, to soak up every piece of it. And if the egg and the milk mixture is not right, then it'll uh, it won't it won't be it won't be gel. And I like it a little bit. Uh, uh, you do you have opener for that? Can of cream. Yep. We'll put that in it and then some milk also. about a cup of sugar uh, can you just imagine how much it is and put it in here mm -hmm. you know there ain't no need to uh, weigh nothing out uh, okay you want some brown sugar in there uh, can I put some milk in it Nope. Nothing but eggs in there and sugar. Okay, put some milk in there. A pretty good bit. Oh, okay. Let's put some peaches in there. Hey. Peach. Yeah, you know, you know, I never did do that. Uh, that this would, is your coffee. That would be a halfway between a. A cobbler and a bread pudding. So I'm not sure how it would. enough left for something else also. 
and vanilla. Uh, can we microwave a half a stick of butter? Yep. Melt it down where you can pour it on this bread. Is that a half a stick? Yeah. Can we use that with salt? Yeah. Uh, uh, I think you have to uh, you have to melt it. it oh, sort of okay. pour it on pour it on there like syrup. Yeah, put that in there. Do you have any uh, nutmeg, maybe? No. Nope. Cinnamon? No. Nope. Uh, oh, okay, was, was you going to put something in it or just go plain? I think we need something in it. Uh, how would I do that? Uh, I got, uh, okay, can, this you, right can you drizzle that over there? Can you put this in there? Or some peaches or some... Put, but can you, right no, let's, let's not go. Yeah, I done did that. Uh, about half of it. Uh, this is hot. Okay. Be careful. Just a little bit, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. All right. Hold on. Oh, that's going to be good. Yeah. Hey, rake it out. Okay, good to go right there. That, that'll help out a lot. Okay, more milk I think here. Oh, see, you see, you have this volume right here is how much you need right there, John. So, I think I need a little more, don't you? What's like that? Volume uh, butter? Uh, no, volume milk. And it'll soak up in that bread too. So I don't like that. no plain. I don't like plain bread pudding. Okay, open up these peaches here then. Yeah. See, actually, you could make a peach cover with some flour and uh, a stick of butter. But I think this is going to work really good. Well, let's make a side cobbler. No. Yeah, because I got vanilla ice cream. Uh, well, when you got vanilla ice cream, you ain't got nothing else but to make a cobbler. Uh, I thought you were going to put them in here. Oh, yeah, we can't here. We're out of ten of this over here. Uh, what about that juice? Let's not put that juice in there. You want to save it? Uh, yeah, well, yeah, for the time being. Well, let me have a fork then. I'll just fork the things out. See what's left. Are these really sweet? I've never had one. Uh, I would imagine they are. I bet they're as sweet as can be. Well, actually, they work really, really good for this right here. Perfect. Because they're, they're already kind of, they're ready to eat. You know, you're not cooking them. 
making this blend in the flavors. Man, that looks good. Yeah. Just looking at it. Okay, I, I don't think we're going to put that in there. You want to pour this on there? Uh, just a little bit all the way around. You want me to? Oh, did we put sugar in it? We did, didn't we? Yeah. Oh yeah, I think this is going to be really good. If the, the if the egg even even the bread ratio now see once once I got this poured on there I think I could put another piece of bread on there. It's the size of the bowl that that you don't you have to work with. In the oven too, well, like, like you have one in, one of these slices turned sideways. Or on the on its back and sticking up, and you put it in like right there. That would probably burn a little bit. You, you have to put it on the side. Like that, and then everything else about the same height. If you, if you have something sticking up, and I I usually put a tin full. Okay, let's shove this up in there. Do, do you have a water bath? A pan like a pizza pan. And you can set this on it and put it up in the oven. That's and, it. And no, and yeah, there you go. Okay, put that in there and put a couple of cups of water. Raise that up. Well, it's gonna be perfect. That's made for that. Just dust it on there. Oh, it's good. It. Or nutmeg. Or about brown sugar. Or uh, ice crust. That that would work equally well. Well. That's pretty good, Um. Uh,
we'll shove it up in that oven there 350 degrees for about 45 minutes to one hour and we'll check it a little bit before that and if it's a burning right here if it's got some little dry peaks we'll put a piece of tin foil across through there and bake it some more okay we put this in there Here, let's, let's have it in there. I think it's going to be good. Is, is yours up on the hot side? Right. I don't know. Yeah, it's a little bit too hot. Okay, put the timer on it for uh, 45 minutes. Will we time it, really? Yeah. Yeah, for 45 minutes. 